seems to be an important role. Um, th th there's a lot of work that we do, or that I, I mean, I would do in the storyboard side of things. That's um, working out where the visual effects shots are. You know, we've got, we've got a big vis effects team, and, and the thing is, the storyboard in the end is the first point where uh, a director sees what he wants or she wants on paper, which then um, goes to the to the, the CGI departments to kind of suggest this is the story that we're making. And then it becomes a budgetary thing where, where um, the producers can look at it and realise, well, okay, there's too many dragon shots here, we can't afford all those, we want these 15 dragon shots to be cut down to three, you know, and, and, and one has to find the ways of making the story work when you've got a budget concern and a storytelling concern. So I think, you know, it becomes one of those issues where our for planning is, is so necessary and so useful to working out how much, you know how we're going to do these things. So, yeah, I mean it. It is a it is an important role. Not that anybody else would actually say it, <laughs> but I think it actually is. I think it serves a really good purpose. Um, I certainly do enough storyboards over the the you know the seasons that um, uh, that seem to justify you know what I've done. Because the other thing is, if you can draw it, in, uh, if you can draw it as a storyboard you're actually saving so much money, you know, if we can see it written down or drawn um, on a page, it's, it costs very little to get that done. It's different if you're, you suddenly go out on a set and you can't make up your mind what you're meant to shoot because, you know, you haven't worked it out. We work it out so it speeds the process up. And it's also the first, um, let's say, uh, visualization of um, the whole adaptation from book to series. I guess it. Uh, yes, uh, it, it is. It's, it's. It is probably the first interpretation of the things, and um, it, that's. It's a. It's a big part. You know, you have to be. You have to be totally immersed in the world that you're in to, to kind of make it succeed properly. Um, I think anyway. You know, and it's. Um, yeah, there's not a lot to say about that one. It, it is. It is. It, it is that first step because the, you know the thing is that you're you're, you're buying into a director's mind. You, you, you're actually you're trying to take their ideas and conjure them up through yourself and put them on paper, so that they then can see them and say, yes, that's what I was thinking about. I mean, that's that's a big thing. I mean, I'm I'm not telepathic, you know, <laughs> but but I'm I'm still having to try and and, and dig into the, the the director's mind. So it involves an awful lot of conversations. And me thumbnailing my, my ideas down so that the director instantly can see, yes, that's the shot, that's the shot, that's the shot. And after that, then it becomes about your um, ability to to draw it properly so that everybody can understand it, so that the director can take this this batch of information and show it to his cameraman and say, you know, this is what this is what we're intending to do. Um, so that the cameraman can start thinking about, okay, how do we get these shots? Um, so it solves a lot of difficulties and yes, as you said, it, it is definitely that first step between um, script and screen. Um, that, you know, that, that, that's, that's another one of those little dream jobs. It came about as an extra. Um, um, David and Dan uh, seemed to really like the work that I'd done on the pilot and the first season. And uh, they were the ones, I think, that suggested that I be part of the, the Blu-ray um, DVD world because uh, they liked the style of work that I did. So I remember, you know, my first um, job uh, for, for, the, for the first season's um, Blu-ray. And uh, I thought I was just going to be drawing these pictures, you know, from, from home. Um, uh, you know, a few Skype calls and getting the information off the guys in Los Angeles. And HBO rang me up and said, um, "Would you mind going to Los Angeles, you know, to, to do some work with uh, the guys out there?" <laughs> I said, "My bag's packed. You know, I'm ready." <laughs> and I couldn't believe it that I was being sent out. I mean, I, I what normally happens is that I get going out there for maybe about a week, and we work over the, all the ideas, and then I go back home and draw. But but I loved 
being able to do stuff that we couldn't see in the TV series. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it was really interesting to be working on the past of our characters, yeah, you know, to, be, to, to, to kind of have something to play with the understanding of what, you know, where they came from, what they were going to be like. Um, so I do love that, that area. I mean, the, the, there's a couple of artists that work on it. Um, I do some of it. And it's, it's nice seeing it, um, it uh, turned into animation. The, the interesting thing is, of course, most people, that's all they'll ever see. They see that animated version. Um, but thankfully, we've, we've done a lot more exhibition work. So the original artwork, a lot of the time, is getting displayed. Um, so it's, I kind of like seeing my pencils, you know. <laughs>
Um, I really enjoyed Dexter, um, though there was, a, there was a couple of really weak series, but I, I did enjoy Dexter. I, I did watch it through to the end. But The Walking Dead is the one that, um, you know, okay. uh, The Walking Dead yeah, at the yeah, moment. Really. Oh my God, it's like, it's like my son and I, you know, are, are, are have you seen it? Have you seen it yet? <laughs> have you watched it? I mean, it's, um, it's, it's really good. I, I, I do love it. it it's, one of the, it's one of the things that I, you know, need to watch. I, I just, it's just a um, first, first thing on Monday that I can get a chance to see it. I, I watch it, you know. So there you go. That's the, I think that's the. I mean, I, w I watch other things. I, I I watch Doctor Who. You know, I've grown up with Doctor Who. I watch Doctor Who. Problem is, Doctor Who can is very changeable. And I, and the last season, you know, I'm I'm just not sure whether whether it um, was really that uh, interesting. Oh, the other the other series that I love is Penny Dreadful. Have you seen it yet? Yeah. Yeah. Penny Dreadful is incredible. I mean, it's been made in Ireland as well. It's it's, it's made in Dublin. Oh, and the Vikings. I love the Vikings, and it's coming out of Dublin as well. So, you know, there's there's a big mix of, of um, uh, series that I watch. Homeland, you know, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, a lot of ver uh, variety. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah, I guess. And then there's then there's a few of the other things that I watch that maybe are a little bit more suspect. I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, and I do dip into South Park all the time. You know, I mean, I mean, it's just one of those things that um, is great to come home and. Uh, and episodes on TV, you know, and suddenly you find yourself singing along the South Park. <laughs> 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 the Game of Thrones episodes were fantastic. Did you Did you guys see those? There was There was a three part. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of and, and the game as well. Yeah, which yeah, is it's, it's, kind of based it's cool. it in is an so RPG. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Um, okay, I think it's wrap. Uh, yeah. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thank nice thank you. to meet you. Nice to meet you too.